We enjoy going shopping. It's almost like a it's almost like a date. Boom. How about them apples? How about them apples? Oh. So I'm interested in your guys' opinion. So rainbow sherbet, it was. There we go. Boom. Boom boom. <laughs> I have no idea what you got. <laughs> Welcome to another haul, you guys. This is another haul sponsored by the amazing Suzanne, Suzanne Baker. Baker. Come on down. That's what it seemed like. <laughs> so you guys, today we are headed to Walmart. We're gonna get some things that we still need. We're kind of gonna try to stock up on pantry items. So um, I also think that though we need some, a few produce things that we've already run out of because our kids like will eat the produce like crazy. Like so, strawberries, cucumbers. Yeah, like you know, our staples that we eat constantly so they don't last long. So we're headed to Walmart right now. Gonna get some things there and um, that's it. Yeah. All right. See you guys there. See you there. All right, hey everybody. Here we are at Walmart. We thought about doing the pickup, but then we're like, you know what? No, we enjoy going shopping. It's almost like a, it's almost like a date. So here we are, Walmart pantry items. <laughs> How about them apples? How about them apples? <laughs> oh yeah. It looks like we're gonna get some Olive Garden uh, salad with yes. some apples. Nice. Yes. So good. All right, so not too impressed right now, you guys. All of the fruit, there's like no bags. The cucumbers are not like ripe. Just, maybe it's just bad timing. I don't know, look, nothing, everything's like almost out of stock. I don't know, but maybe that's just the produce. I was thinking, comment down below if you guys would be interested in us going to do a Sprouts produce haul again, or if you haven't seen our farmer's market haul, comment down below and let us know if you guys would be interested in us going to a farmer's market. So check these out. These got, they've got hot Doritos here that I've never seen before. Look at that, you got wasabi, you got blaze, and we got blazing buffalo ranch. Oh man, that's tempting. I'm wondering if I should do like a hot chip challenge or if you haven't seen me do the one chip challenge I tasted the hottest chip in the world the Pocky one chip challenge if you haven't seen that go check that out You guys are wondering why I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday's vlog it's because we're filming this the same day Yeah <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get like caught up on things so we're like we're just filming like crazy Yeah so sometimes it's same day yes. filming you guys Yeah same day filming <laughs> I swear, it's just I different day editing. All right, so we've been walking around, and I'm just like, dang, we haven't been, we haven't even picked up the camera. This cart has filled up we keep making out quick. Miles. Yes, we. <laughs> so yeah, so we. Back to the show. So this cart has literally been like filling up so fast. Check it out. Hello. Hello. So we are in the ice cream section. One of the stipulations from Susie Baker was that Tina had to get her ice cream. So we're gonna look for a tub of ice cream. And we're not talking like one of these little tiny little pints. We're talking tub a tub a tub -a. So I'm interested in your guys' opinion because we're here at Walmart and it's one of those where we're stocking this cart up with items that we like and enjoy, but they are processed foods. And so, Comment down below if you have specific healthy items and share with all of us what you would get here at Walmart. Aside from produce, I'm talking like things in the aisles. Comment down below what you would get to be healthier. We got our healthy stuff at Costco though, right? Yeah, we got some healthy Ish. stuff. No, well, we get, I mean, to be honest, we're not the healthiest right now. That's just straight up the truth. And so we get processed food. We let the kids enjoy their food. They're active, as you guys know. But I'm just curious at Walmart, what do you healthy people get? All right, I think we're within budget. 
I say we're close. I say we're close. I'll say we're close. Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. So we made it back home. We got all our awesome processed food, you guys. We're gonna go over all of this, show you guys what we got. So just fair warning, you guys. This is a lot of just like stock up stuff that we put in our pantry. That we put in our actually most of the stuff is pantry stuff. So we don't eat it all at one time. We do eat it in. Are you doses. serious? You don't eat all of that at one time? I mean. Maybe we should do a mukbang. Yeah, pantry and mukbang. Eat it all. Yes. Pantry mukbang. Then the people who say we're gonna have heart attacks based on what we eat would be correct. Yes. <laughs> Serious. No, so we're gonna go through all this, you guys, and just keep in mind we just did a Costco haul, our biggest Costco haul last week. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check that out because that's a lot of our staples as well. These are just a lot of our pantry items. Um, things for recipes and different things I'm gonna be making throughout the week. So before we get started you guys huge shout out huge Thank you to Suzanne Baker for sponsoring this awesome haul We're so grateful for Susie. All right, so before we get started again you guys a huge Thank you to Suzanne Baker for sponsoring this haul. We still have one more haul coming up this week It's going to be are we gonna tell them? Well, I haven't decided yet. We, have oh, we haven't we? decided yet. It's between I say it's between Trader Joe's or Sprouts I kind of we've we we've, we've done a couple sprouts. We have. I love Trader Joe's. I yes. love Trader Joe's. So I don't know. We'll see. Let us know down below what you guys would like to see. I personally, I'm biased to Trader Joe's. Yeah. Well, I am too. But I just think it's nice to do something, mix it up a little bit since we just did a Trader Joe's. Yeah, because they're very similar, so we could go either way. But. Anyways, let us know down below what you guys would like to see and let's get started on this haul. Okay, so we're gonna start with the few freezer things that we got, you guys. So, I got some hash browns, the diced kind, because I'm going to be making potato soup that is in the cookbook actually this week, hopefully. And those aren't just or any hash browns. Point. Those are southern it's hash southern browns. Southern hash browns, so you know they're good. That's right. Yeah, so, I got two packs of those. Then I got some heavy whipping cream for Ashlyn's favorite. She's right here, that's why I'm looking over there. Yeah, Bashy! What's your favorite? So I needed to get more of this for the Ashlyn's favorite colored pasta, you guys. So I had to pick this up so I can make that this week as well. And then, of course, we had to pick up Ethan's. Da 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 da! Chili, Chili pot pies. I was curious why you only got two. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I don't know. I just thought, like, okay. I don't know. And they didn't come in a pack of like four or anything. They come single. I don't know why I just grabbed two. Huh. I just was like, that's two fine. Good. Because I figured they're just for Ethan, so he's just going to eat it. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, I got two of those. And then we got some. What is this? Oh, it's Totino's. I thought it was Tot Tortino's. Tino's. Totino's pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. For so, Brayden. Brayden loves these. He actually requested those when we were at Costco, but Costco doesn't have them, so we've totally got these. Yeah, and he, these are literally just so easy for him to come home, pop them in the microwave, eat them, and then I don't have to hear him whine about it. Tortino's. <laughs> to eat. Tortino's. Okay, Simply Orange, orange juice, you guys know we love this. Pulp free, always, no one in the house likes pulp. So, we get this stuff. It is delish. It's really good. So good. And then, of course, per the rules of this haul, I had to get my ice cream. So, Rainbow Sherbet, it was. There we go, boom, boom, boom. I'm excited about it. I'm this. surprised you didn't get two of them. I'm trying to be good. Uh. You guys, hello. I know this all looks like bad, bad for you food, but guess what? I am healthy. I've lost four pounds. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Because my goal is to lose eight pounds by my birthday, remember? So I've yeah. lost four. I have been good. I've been eating a lot of greens and different things. So we'll see how I am after this week. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of salads, protein shakes, protein bars. And Damn. Check that out. Cheese. Every day for... But like, here's the thing, I'll eat something until I get sick of it, and then it's like, okay, I need something new. So I've been having salad with Olive Garden dressing, just a little bit, with um, cottage cheese, and that's what I have for lunch. That's why I gotta always keep it spicy, because spicy. She'll, she's gonna treat me like her cottage cheese. <laughs> what? You're gonna be like, oh, I just keep having it, and then until I'm sick of it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I gotta watch out. I don't know what you're I gotta talking watch about. out and make sure I don't get you bored. Oh gosh, whatever. <laughs> On to the healthy stuff. Quest is the best. 
quest is the best. Oh so, yeah. You guys, these are kind of spendy, but we love them. Well, do you still love them, babe? Um, I. Uh, it's one Did of you those. Get sick of them? No, or I love them. You em. just start eating so much junk, you're like the healthy stuff tastes nasty. Yeah, yeah. that's really what it is. <laughs> I've just literally been on junk overload, you guys, and honestly, I love it. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> No, I really need to get back back going into shape, and so I'm excited for the summer. So yes. We're going to start working out again in the summer, you guys. Let us know if you'd be interested in our fitness journey, because we are definitely getting back on. We're going to go back to the gym, the same gym eventually. we went to. Yeah, the yeah, same gym. Yeah, we'll have gym. better food then, maybe. And we'll take you on workouts that we went on. You guys, they're intense workouts. If you guys are new and haven't seen our older videos um, where we took you along on some of our workouts, they gonna, are. Yeah, we've already given them the heads up like, hey, we're coming back as soon as the kids are out of school and yeah. our schedules open up. So, Quest Bars, you guys. This comes in a four pack, and I believe it was like seven. $7, seven dollars, yeah. Seven something. So, so they're ba oh, sorry, they're basically a dollar ninety eight at Walmart compared is, to two fifty. Yeah, that's the best I've probably seen them. So, we got two boxes. I love the oatmeal. The oatmeal chocolate chip and Danny loves the chocolate chip cookie dough, which yes. I love this one too, but this one's my favorite. And then you guys know I love my ranch packets. I had to get some more because I got some cauliflower to eat in there and some baby carrots. Oh. And I don't like eating it without my ranch. So oh. here's the thing though with my eating. I'm doing like 80-20. I'm good 80% of the time and then 20%. So like weekends, I'll splurge a little. That's okay. Yeah. I feel like that's okay. Well, I think on the cauliflower days, just go like full oh, out junk food. Oh, just shush your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just shush a much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Parmesan cheese. I need a little bag of this for the um, color pasta that I do. I do a homemade Alfredo sauce. Ooh. So good. So, do you, have so a, good. do you have that in a cook with me? I don't know if I've done that one. If we have, link it. Yes, I'll yeah. check and see. But hey, you guys, I just want to let you know, for all of you who are new and see all of this processed food, right? Tina does cook. I do cook. And in fact, we do have a series called Cook With Me. We do! Yes. Weird! And, and another one called Kids in the Kitchen. Yes. So, so we do still do a lot of cooking, you guys, and a lot of this stuff is like literally like snacks for the kids. Easy go-to stuff. Easy go-to like for those nights where maybe we don't have time to make dinner. They can just throw something in when Brayden comes home from school throw something in like that's what these are used for and they're not all eaten at one time so i can't stress that enough and our guys. kids actually love soup so like oh, they will we didn't eat. get strawberries honestly i would not want strawberries from that place yeah you know what <laughs> you guys i'm gonna go out on a limb here and maybe you guys will agree with me their produce is not great like no. i wanted to get a lot more produce there and i was like no 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 this does not look good well, I even said, you guys saw earlier in the video, I literally said I was pretty disappointed that they were like almost out of stock. It seemed like yes. it was like the, the last of like the bunch and yeah. it just was not impressive. Which is why, you guys know, if you've been watching our videos for a while, I'm not a huge fan of Walmart. I just am not, like I don't love the crowds. I don't love that nothing, I'm not gonna bag on Walmart because there's a lot of good things about Walmart, but. They got chili pot pies. They got chili pot pies, you guys. Come on. So, yeah, that's true. They've got Ethan's chili pot yeah, pies. Yeah, but I'm not impressed with their, I, I very rarely have been impressed with their produce there. So yeah. anyways, I wanted to get avocados, I wanted to get tomatoes, I wanted to get all these different things and they just literally didn't have them. So our next haul that we're doing this week, we will get that stuff. Maybe that's why we should go to Trader Joe's. Sprouts. <laughs> we could go to Sprouts. I don't care. We could do whatever. And Sprouts also carries the Pocky chips. I love the Ooh, Pocky chips. The Pocky chips are yes. good. Okay, so let's move on. We have got chicken broth. This is for the potato soup that I'm making. Delish. If you guys have our cookbook, it's in that cookbook. I think I said that already. And then we've got some beef broth for, do you know? Um, goulash. Goulash. Ooh, Kids ooh, love goulash, ooh. guys. I don't know about you guys. Wait, but is the goulash in the cookbook? The goulash is in the cookbook. Oh, it is. Okay, yes. good. Yep, it's in there, and it's delicious. All right, here we go. I will not be eating these. This will probably be Brayden and Danny. We got the Velveeta cheesy bowls. Okay, because you know what? When we go to Trader Joe's, we get their um their mac and cheese uh, bowls yes. or whatever you want to call it. Yep. And so I'm like, hey, you know what? This is Walmart. We're gonna try out something of theirs that's a little you similar. Love Velveeta, though. Yeah, so Velveeta's got awesome cheese, and, and I'm like, you know what? These are pretty good bowls, and they're different. Three different ones that we could see. Velveeta. So you got ultimate cheeseburger mac. Yes. You've got lasagna with meat sauce. Ooh. You've got chicken Alfredo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
So that between Danny and Brayden, those will be in pretty quick, I think. And I have my awesome little helper who she's literally putting everything away as I'm going through it. You guys, she's gonna be the that's, best mom and wife ever. That's because she wants fizz. Well, she's getting it no matter what. All right, we got some tuna fish, you guys. Let me know how you guys like your tuna fish. I like a little mayo with some dill pickles. Yes. What do you like, same? Yes. Okay, let us know how you like it. I know some people do different things. Some people don't like mayo, some people, I'm super curious, so. When I'm, when I'm, tuna when I'm really healthy, healthy, I go no mayo. Oh, you do, just uh -huh. plain? Uh-huh. Maybe I should do that. I could literally eat it plain with some pickles. Oh, that's yeah, so it's good. good. And you guys, if you haven't seen already, go check out my tuna melts. The tuna melts are bomb. I have a tuna melt cook with me. Go check it out. They're so good. We got some cucumbers, you guys. I kind of just like went through to find the good ones, so I only got three of them. But we do still have a few left from Costco. So. Those were sixty cents. So you know what? I yes. can't get over Winco's prices. Winco on, is amazing. Yes, thirty-three cents a cucumber, you guys. We haven't found it that cheap anywhere else. Nope. Nope. So and maybe good. we should check out. They're good sprouts. Solid. That's true, we could. Yep. Yep. I think we don't have a choice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some green apples and some, I always say it wrong, gala, gala. Oh man, we, no one know, ever we responds. We always get it wrong. They do respond and oh. then I forget which one it was. Gala, gala, Anyways, gala. Anyways, we got two gala. bags of those. There you go. Gala. I'm going to say gala. Gala. I'm going to say gala. Okay. We got three pounds of the halo. Halo. You guys, we go halo. through our kids, go through these halo. like halo. like crazy. That's right. <laughs> these are good. Ash, do you like those cold or just regular? Regular. Oh, All come the kids on. Like regular. You're literally the only one that likes them cold. I'll eat them cold too. I like them cold. But there's those. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with Danny's most favorite chocolate ever. Oh, did you find the one with? Oh, no. Oh, I found both. Oh. oh. So Danny's favorite Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate. Yeah, and those you guys honestly remind me of my dad every single time I buy them, see them, or eat them because oh, that's cute. my dad. That was his favorite snack, and he would have them in the fridge all the time. Danny does the same thing. He puts yes. it right in the fridge and eats it. So good. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Never tried it. Don't knock it till you try it. I've tried no, it, you and I don't like raisins. No, you Who haven't. likes raisins? I don't like raisins. I don't really like eating raisins, but I love them in that. So you, you have to try it. Yep. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay. Then we got some pepperoni for... Oh. Is that for the Ritz crackers? Sure, why not? Yeah. Ritz crackers, you guys, I love, they had the family size Ritz crackers at Walmart, and then they had the 10 pack. And so we went for the 10 pack. The family size was eight, so we just went for 10, because why not? So, Ritz crackers. And how many of you have, have and how many of you have purchased those like party trays that have basically Ritz crackers with pepperoni? Yep. And they're like 12 bucks. <laughs> There's so much. So here you have, Pepperoni Ritz crackers, boom, make it on your own, and they are so delish. You're good to go. All right, then we got the 12 pack of the circus animal cookies that Emberlyn is obsessed with and loves, and Danny like had to grab it. I buy them every time I see them because I know how much she loves them, and they're not as easy as you might think to come by. They're not at like Vaughn's, I don't see them at Albertsons, and so. Yeah, so we grabbed some for her lunches or whatever. She loves those, so. Then we got Captain Crunch, Crunch Berries, boom. Delish, I guess. I don't yes, know. Yes, they're, they're healthy. Oh, they're, they're healthy. They're so berries. There's berries. There's in berries them. in it. Yeah. There you the go. The captain would not let us eat anything that's unhealthy. Serious. So, there you go. I wonder if he's friends with Cinnamon. I bet they're friends. <laughs> they should have like an all-star. They should have like an all-star cereal with oh. Tony the Tiger. Who's comment down oh, below? That would be smart. Comment down below who your favorite cereal box character it is. It has to be Tony Cinnamon. the Tiger, Lucky Charms. No, it's Cinnamon. Cinnamon. It has to be Cinnamon. Or Captain Crunch. Cinnamon. Or, Cinnamon. or Trix the Rabbit. No way. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's evil. He's a little trickster. I don't Whatever. Know I'm serious. Oh, man. It's Cinnamon all the way. All right, other thing we got, you guys, of course, it's a staple, and if you're a college student, you know. It is ramen noodles. We got the chicken, we got the beef, we got the shrimp, and we got the pork. I almost got the green chili. I thought maybe Ash might like that. Oh, she probably would I have. am, yeah, so I almost got it. We usually only always get chicken, but then we're like, this time let's just mix it up. Yeah. I don't know, some people say all of them taste like chicken, but I think they have different flavors. Nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. 
All right, we got two bags of the bite size Tostito chips. Tostitos. These are so good with the, what are they called? Yes, go grab yeah, them. Go because grab they them. are, seriously, we had these the other night. They were so delicious. So these I think we got from the um, the pantry perks. Yes. And so these they are, are the, um, the fantastic taco filling mix. They are, it's like meatless. So this is vegetarian. It's a vegetarian entree. So and literally, good. you just mix it with water and a little bit of oil, and there you go. Highly recommend it, you guys. Yep. It has so much flavor. It is so good. So we put that on top of these bite-sized chips with the Tostitos cheese right here. So that with the chips, with this, so good. Yes. And I love that these are, I like the bite size for some, whatever reason. They were really, really delicious. So what we did was that that whole can or jar of, of the nacho cheese and one full bag of the chips with one packet of the seasoning mix um, gave us about three full plates of nachos. Yeah. Oh, so everyone was just so like good. digging in. It was so good. It was so good. I actually, I want some right now. No. Oh. So good. All right, so we got the 18 variety pack of the Pringles chips just for the kids' lunches. We've got the six original sour cream and onion and six cheddar cheese. So, yep. and that's one challenge we haven't done with the kids is the Pringles challenge yet. Did we not? Nope. I thought we did. No, we did the Oreos, we did the baby food, we did. Um, I'm pretty pop tarts. Sure. We did. We did. did we, we do the Pringle challenge. No, we haven't. Oh dang! Yeah, so oh, we're, we're gonna have to, to see that. that. Might have to bust that out. Yeah, comment down below which one you're choosing from this box. Yes. Which, Which one, one would you choose? I'm going for the original. Ooh, I'm going for cheddar cheese. Ooh. Yeah. Amberlynn, what about you? Which one are you going for? Uh, Sour cream onion, original, or cheddar cheese? Cheddar cheese. Oh, oh that's my girl. That's actually good news for me because then there's more original. More. I know. So we need a shampoo and conditioner. So I got me some shampoo and conditioner. Pantone we, Pro you, me, but everyone will end up using it eventually. Eventually. And then we got the four pack of tomato soup because I want to make shepherd's pie this week. So I use tomato soup instead of gravy. A lot of people use gravy. I use tomato soup and it's oh. delicious. My and mom did it with us growing up and it's really, really good. And who doesn't love tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich? Oh, so, so we are so you hungry know what? right now. I saw an article the other day that <laughs> you shouldn't put grilled cheese with tomato soup because you mix them together and it does something in your stomach. Whatever. We've been doing it for years. Seriously, it's put a so big L good. on your forehead. Loser. <laughs> it's so good. I don't oh, even care. Man. Or with your tuna melts. That's good too. All right, guys. I am so super excited about these. I'm so glad I found them because the lady at the <clears> store, which is another reason I can't stand Walmart, is no one... That works. Okay, I'm not even gonna say it. We could we not get any help. We couldn't get any help. So, anyways, it was fine. I was still nice. I'm a nice person. So, um, we found these just by chance, and I asked them if they had it. They were like, "Oh no, I never heard of that." Found it. So excited. The Vermont Village. They are the sipping vinegars. You guys, let me know if you've tried these because I almost want to order. Like, they have all different products that I want to try to order. I want to try them out. So this is basically. Uh, turmeric and honey and so that's literally what's in it that is what is in it and you guys as you guys know turmeric works so well for inflammation and things like that and so I try to get turmeric in my diet as much as possible are you gonna try it I'm totally gonna try it's it. it's probably what you make it's just it totally is but it's yeah. just convenience maybe how that's much are you gonna it have is. it's just convenience it says sipping so I assume you're not supposed to guzzle it so it just says take it and sip just sip it throughout the day that's a challenge and a half. I wonder if that's harmful if you just down the whole thing. I don't know. I wouldn't. That's it, a challenge. I feel like that would burn. That give that would, that burn, would burn coming out. That'd oh. be a that'd be a, that a would definite be a, second not burn. Let's talk about what that would be. That would be <laughs> not fun. Okay, I'm gonna. That would make cauliflower look good. Oh yeah, it smells like it. Oh, and the great thing about this too is, it's the vinegar with the mother, which is the most healthy for you. So the mother is the is like what's good for you. So Vermont Village, here we go. Oh. It is? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> She's like, yeah. No, Seriously. but I do like it. I do like it. Do you want to taste it? Sure. Try it. You won't be seeing my face. Oh, whoa. It smells like it's, pickle juice. It's, oh, it tastes kind of like pickle juice. <laughs> it's act. <coughs> He's like, ha, ha, ha. Well, it's actually good, though. It is good. Yeah. I could totally sip on this throughout the day. Mmm. Yeah. 
anyways I see I follow them on Instagram and I've seen like their little packets that they have that are kind of like the applesauce packets but you just they're like different things like this what was the other one so we'll like? actually we're actually gonna go I'll put I'll link their Instagram right here and go check them out and say Phil's fan bam sent me yes please do you guys <coughs> let them know because they have and seriously go check out all of their other items on there because um, here's the thing Walmart had what kind was it something with blueberries oh the other um, one I don't know but it wasn't it was, but it open. was open and it was like spilled everywhere like it like, literally it. it was literally like someone tasted it no it really was yeah. <laughs> and it was the last one of that kind so this was the only flavor they had there but you guys honestly it's not bad this tastes actually really good I like it I like how it feels going down like yeah like, like still you can still like, feel it yeah like you feel it I don't That's know crazy. I like it anyways go try that out or let me know if you guys have tried that next up you guys because I'm making shepherd pie shepherd shepherd's pie which a lot of people don't call it shepherd's pie. anyways okay since I'm making shepherd's pie we have I had to get some green beans and I use the canned ones I don't for whatever reason like frozen beans you know what I'm saying? Like some green beans come in a frozen pack. I don't like those. I like the ones in the can and I like the Del Monte. Nice. So I don't know. Maybe I'm a green bean snob. No. Nah, but we got works. four cans of those for the uh, shepherd's pie to make a couple times. So we. And then we got the pozole. Oh yeah. Danny loves this stuff. It's chicken and hominy soup. Yeah, that's for, I like that that's for hominy, me. Hominy, hominy, hominy. Yeah, that's Ooh. for me and Ethan. New bold flavor, babe. Yes, that's why I got that too. There was chili and chicken, so I'm like, that is going to be Isn't so good. Isn't the lady good. on the front so funny? I can't yeah. see her. Oh, Juanita? Oh, the, you know Juanita? Yeah, don't be talking like Juanita like that. Oh, you like mean Juanita? That. Oh, I grew up with Juanita. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you did. We grew up with Juanita in my house. Juanita! Yes. Oh, so I don't know. Danny loves this. I probably won't have any of it, but. Okay, we got the Italian style breadcrumbs because we plan on making some chicken parmesan at yes. some point in the air fryer. If you haven't seen that cook with me, go check it out because it is delicious. Danny was a pro at making that. Actually. Those were good. Did you make that or did I? You did. I, th I think uh, it was me and Ashlyn. Oh, awesome. Or something like that. So this is for the recipe and then we also picked up some Prego. Um, yeah, I've been like kind of it. craving spaghetti. Spaghetti like, does I just, sound good. Yeah, it's been a while I since just want it. spaghetti with your Olive Garden salad with with that with sliced Ooh, apples I could do that this week that is uh, I'll do that that'd this be week. so good um let me know my stepdad growing up would make a homemade um sauce like a homemade one not in the jar so if you guys have any awesome recipes for like a homemade what do you call this like a uh a meat sauce marinara sauce marinara sauce yes if you guys have a good recipe for that let me know I would love to try it just because I feel like homemade is so delicious um, but I oh, haven't yeah. had it in like years. So anyways, we got those. All right, so we had to of course get the chicken booyah, you guys. You know we love these. I use this mainly for the Spanish rice that I make. And it is delicious, I love it. It's Danny's mom's recipe. So and, we go through a lot of this because I make it a lot. And if you're new here, it's chicken bouillon, but we call it chicken booyah. Yeah, hashtag, call it chicken booyah. hashtag chicken booyah. Yeah, if you guys are new to our channel, then you probably don't know. We name our own kitchen utensils. We have names for all different things <laughs> that we just serve like. It's our kitchen. We call it what we want. So this is chicken booyah, and it's a lot easier to say and a lot more fun to say, I will say. Yeah. Then we also got some soups, you guys. So chicken noodle I meant to grab four but I grabbed two chicken noodle and two cream of mushroom which I don't know what I'm gonna use it for but I thought they were chicken noodles so got those and then we got some spaghettios you guys who remembers spaghettios from when you were a kid my uh, kids oh love it. Spaghettios. spaghettios yes so we grabbed how many two four six yeah. six of these Emberlyn loves these for Ashlyn Emberlyn and Ashlyn yes they do so those are delicious whatever and we got and the then, progressos the Progresso Chicken and Wild Rice, good and good. Yes. Love it. And then we also got, you guys know we love the Hormel Chili, no beans on our hot dogs, on... Walking tacos. Walking tacos, really, really good. So we just usually stock up on these when we run into them. So and then the last but not least, we got some six. Oh, these are magnetic. Awesome. Oh, sweet. We can hang our chips on, on the fridge. <laughs> cool because you can't hang like their work on them. Oh yeah, that's you know awesome. I mean? Anyways, we're using them for chip bags, but they're magnetic. They're awesome. All right, you guys. So that is literally it. That's everything we got. And like we said, we are pretty stocked up on stuff from Costco as it is already. So we just grabbed some of the pantry stuff that we needed this week. 
And so now we're stocked on the pantry and we're still gonna be going to one more store this week and then we're really gonna be stocked. Yes, we're gonna, yeah. but we're really gonna like, we might even go two, but it depends. We'll have to talk to Susie because we spent less here than we thought. Yes, like, we spent. We had a certain it? we had a certain budget and we spent one hundred ninety six dollars on all of this food. Yes, so and, so, we, and we thought we were gonna go. We thought we were gonna be right on on budget on budget, but no, we stayed under. So the next store we go to because Susie is sponsoring it, we will be spending the remainder of her sponsor money there. Yeah, or right. we split it to two. We'll have to talk to her and oh, see. Oh yeah, we'll see. I don't know, you guys. Stay tuned. I don't know. It could be amazing. Who knows? Hashtag down below. What will Susie decide? <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all your support, especially on our haul videos. You guys, like, come over, leave the best comments. You guys are so sweet. And honestly, we're just joking around with the processed food stuff. We really get, like, maybe one or two people who comment negative stuff on that. Otherwise, honestly, you guys are amazing. So yeah. thank you guys so much for loving us, supporting us, and, like, just being there and, like, I don't know, like you guys kind of keep us company too. Even though we're the ones on video, we love your comments, we love responding to them, we love all of that stuff. So you guys know that though, I hope you guys know that. But Danny's nodding his head like a bobblehead. So that is it you guys, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turn me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume